Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. There's a need for you to detach or your person to detach. I, I just feel like something's over and somebody refuses to see it's over. Somebody refuses to see that they're not going to get a second chance. Um, there's no going back from whatever they did in the past. There's no way to make something right. But we'll see what energy comes out, okay? So there's a storm happening outside right now. It's raining. Somebody could really be going through some pain. Somebody may really need to hear this message. So I really hope that it reaches you, um, the right person. All right, what do we have here? What's the current energy between the collective and their first thing when it comes to this next year? Yeah, okay. So there's two people. There's two different types of energies out here. There's an the energy of somebody being in denial and there's an the energy of someone not being in denial and ready to change. Someone here wants to move on to a new connection. They just want to move on from the past. Um, they're ready for something new or if they're going to do it again with the same person, they want to do it a different way. There's an energy of change out here for somebody, but for someone else, there's, there's not. Somebody, It's like somebody is refusing to see something. Like, they've been shown something before. Yeah, look at this energy. The phoenix, the palm. There's a lot of energy of growth out here, a new phase. Um, somebody enduring the pain of something here. Somebody wanting to change their life or... Um, Somebody feels like they're running out of time. See, here's the deal. Whoever the person is that wants to heal and wants to change, they're ready to end the karmic cycle. They don't want to go through the same karmic cycle again. This could be you. You may not want to go through the same karmic cycle again with the same person. I feel like you've learned that lesson over and over and like you just really don't want to revisit that pain again. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I feel like you guys are, some of y'all dealt with somebody who was a narcissist or somebody who was very selfish. Show me more here. Uh-oh, what was that? Passion. So what about this passion here? Ooh, y'all might have somebody new coming in. Ooh, you do. There's a new energy out here. All right, I see what's happening here. So it looks like to me you went through a karmic cycle with the same person over and over it took you a lot to deal with it took you a lot to heal from it you learned your lesson you're ready to move into something new you're not looking behind you you're looking forward you you have grown and learned from the situation you've transformed and changed your life you learned a lot of shit from this experience and you've grown from it right and so now you guys are making different decisions moving forward when it comes to love and so now you're like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to place too much expectations on the future or when it comes to my future person or like when it comes to dating. And you're just going to enjoy the moment or enjoy the time that you're having with someone and you're healing, which is really, really good because it looks like the time and the space that you have from the past person that I feel like might still be in denial and still kind of holding on to your energy or still holding on to you and they don't believe they feel like it's almost like they feel like they're going to come back they don't believe that you're really over that you're really done with the situation like this is the last time um but there's a new energy here <laughs> you're making progress and it's like we have wedding rings, Cupid's arrow, and passion so you guys have a new connection here i feel like you've been holding on by a thread you've been holding on by a thread when it comes to you trying to have faith you making the right decisions you doing the right things and it's coming in okay so something new is coming in here with this cupid's arrow this passionate energy here i feel like you're going to be caught off guard when this new person comes in there's going to be a little bit of hesitation um, someone here new, uh, I feel like is going to really like you and I feel like you're going to like them too, but you'll be a little, you'll be more hesitant with this new person than this new person is going to be hesitant with you. And I get it because you are, you don't want to be hurt again. You know, you're looking for something 
long lasting. You're looking for commitment. You're looking for a soul connection. You're not looking for something on the surface level. And that tells me that with all of this growth energy here, wedding rings, there's so much energy of you having grown and learned like this lesson, the phoenix, the palm tree. You took time for yourself to do what was right for you. And it's like, that brings in something here, but we'll see if some past energy comes up. All right, so what do we have here for the collective? Looks like something good is coming. Ooh, listen, Janae Akoi, the worst, is playing right now. I feel like that's the energy from the past. It was the worst. Whoever you guys went round and round on constant cycles with, that whole situation was the worst. And this person wants to talk to you and apologize. Yep, and apologize. It's thundering outside. <sighs> heavy, heavy energy. There is a strong bond here. I don't know if the strong bond here is, is a soulmate or a twin flame. If this is old or if this is new. There's definitely an old energy here. And there's definitely a new energy here. I feel like there is something new that's going to require you to take a leap of faith and be vulnerable. You've been through so much. You've been through the worst, right? You've been through the worst, but now there's a need for you to be vulnerable and trust something new. And you and this new person, I feel like are going to have a lot of chemistry here. Look at this chemistry. But I feel like you don't want to do it. I feel like chemistry is not enough for you. Yeah. Like I said, chemistry is not enough for you. This is you saying, if it's just chemistry, re retreat and warning. If this is just all about chemistry, I don't want it. Yeah, this is you trusting your intuition. Um, Show me more here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all went through something with this obstacles energy. Y'all went through something. You healed. And it took time. It took effort. It took energy. And it, what, most of all, it took a lot of patience. It took a lot of patience. Things are unfolding from you. But see, the, the, the deal is here, you guys took a break for yourself to, to tend to your wounds and to master and learn the lesson that you need to learn from this um cycle y'all been having fun focusing on yourselves working hard playing hard i like this energy okay let's see show me more here for the collective let's pull some tarot show me more about this situation for the collective show me more about the situation for the collective <laughs> wow Okay, hold on, y'all. I told you, I, it makes sense to see the wheel here. Ooh, Jesus. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the wheel. This is good. Y'all are moving on, setting boundaries. Queen of Swords. I feel like you're going to be unsure about this new connection. Because the Two of Pentacles is here. But the thing is, the new connection is gonna is gonna be great. I have never seen the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups come out back to back with the wheel. Okay, so this is a good change. You've changed your life for the better. You set boundaries. You've been strong. You communicated. This is what I feel like you want. I don't know what the Two of Pentacles is about. Yeah, thank you. Look at this. The Empress and the Star. You know what you want. Don't settle. I think this is a message, the Spirit reminding you, if you've been on this long journey, you've been through this hard drama cycle with this past person, like, there's no need for you to be in denial about that situation or it could be your person's, you know, this past person's energy still, like, clinging and holding on to you. But, like, you deserve so much more. You are the empress. You set firm boundaries and you're like, no, I only want what I deserve. I only want what's meant for me from the divine. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
it's coming. Whatever you prayed for, all you have to do is hang in there because the, the star energy here, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here. You could be any one of those signs. You don't have to be, but show me more here. I know that's right. So if you've been holding on here, don't settle. Ooh. The Emperor and the King of Swords. Dang, I've never seen this happen. The Queen of Swords and the Empress is here, y'all. Remember? This is you. This is you. With the star. Y'all might be, like, real popular. Somebody here could be on the internet. Like, somebody here could be well-known in their community. I don't know. So, you could get a lot of attention. Or, like, you could be, like, recognized in the public eye. I don't know. Or this is how somebody sees you. But, like, whoever this person is, honey, they, they are your match. Energetically, spiritually, financially. Whatever obstacles you went through. I feel like you and this person mastered the same thing and it took a long time, but the Knight of Pentacles, it was a long journey for you and this person. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was a long journey for you and this person, the world, but somebody's learned a lesson. You learned a lesson. I feel like this is a new person that's learned a lesson. Now, can this be somebody from the past that's leveled up and they've had a spiritual awakening and they've closed out some old karmic cycles? Yes. That is not what I feel here. They could be an Aries or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Whoever this new person is, they're intentional. They're going to be very intentional about how they treat you, how they show you what you mean to them. Show me more. Very, this, I love this energy. This masculine, okay, you could be a Leo, uh, strength energy here. It took a lot of strength, a lot of courage. It, you, somebody, you and this person, I feel like had the same, you remember we talked about growth. We talked about obstacles. We talked about healing. We talked about the time that it took. We talked about like just this whole transformation. Like, this, somebody's life changed, your life changed. Show me more here. This is great. This is the person you want to be with. Because this is like, I did the work, you did the work. We come together and, we, and we're perfect for each other. Like, we're. It, this is not a situation where you complete me, I complete you. This is a situation where it's like, I complete myself. And we add to each other. Yeah. Show me more. Yep, this is new. And the both of you are waiting on this. Page of Cups is new. It's a love offer. It starts small, but I feel like it grows. Because remember, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here with the world and the wheel. A lot of life lessons have been learned, I feel like, on your part and your person's part. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. No matter where this resonates for you or, or whether or not you're the feminine or the masculine. You and this person have been waiting for this. The Page of Cups and the Two of Wands. Y'all have been strong. You've been waiting on it. You're waiting on it. Show me more. I like this too. Hit the like button. You got Yeah. Told you. I feel like you're in this anxiety though. Because it's like the weight. The time alone and the weight. Remember we saw this Knight of Pentacles earlier. Which indicates like it's been a long journey. It's been slow. It's been rebuilding your life. Rebuilding like how you feel. Brick by brick making small steps towards like doing something new here, but it's coming. It is, yeah. Oh. This is coming, it's gonna shock you. Scorpio energy here with the page of wands, this is good news. And you're gonna be like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Or you're like, make sure you're not like in protective mode. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna clarify this seven of wands, but I feel like this you protecting yourself. Spending a lot of time alone and not like, you know, being vulnerable with other people. But there's victory here. Six of Wands. You know what's so crazy is, remember we talked about earlier, because the feminine, if you resonate as the feminine, the feminine gets a lot of attention or like 
somebody may feel like you get a lot of attention whether you do or you don't or you're seen in the public eye or you are like out and about or you're a speaker public speaker you're popular you have a, a successful platform a successful job or like you know i feel like this is where um boy meets girl or girl meets boy and like you're doing good for yourself and the male's doing good for themselves and then you two of you you meet you collide it's like this big colossal deal um, like the Big Bang Theory is what I'm getting here. Like big, like because the star, the stars here. I'm getting the stars and the moon with the tower, right? But the Six of Wands is about victory. It's about confidence. It's about strength. It's about like overcoming. It's about being seen in the public eye. You might be seen in the public eye, and this person might be seen in the public eye. Like I said, like there's just. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? Yeah, regret. You're protecting yourself because you're the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. This is you just, we're clarifying the Seven of Wands, right? This is you protecting your energy, protecting your space while you're healing. Don't come over here fucking with me if you're on some bullshit. You know, but this this is like you you rejecting a lot of things because you're in this nine of pentacles energy, single, you're free to move about however, do whatever you want, whenever you get ready to. But there's a caveat to that, right? The caveat is like sometimes you're lonely, sometimes you feel like your special person, the divine masculine or divine feminine that you're meant to be with hasn't come yet. Um, and you know you're you're worth it. But like your person hasn't come and you may have had to reject person after person kiss frog after frog but you stood on on business you stood on business yeah you're stressed out yeah you stood on business i feel like y'all dealt with a player the past person was a player that stressed you out that wasn't ready to commit Show me more here for the Galatians. Yeah, you've been waiting. Yeah, you walked away and you've been waiting on this and you're about to overcome victory. Yes, you are. This past person is still in your business though and, and a lot of deep regret after you walked away from them, but you did. It took you a long time to walk away from it and learn the lesson here with the Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Can I get some energy from the past person, please? Let's just see what the past person has going on. I feel like y'all weathered a storm. You know, past person could have. Oof. All right. First thing I got here, somebody is. Some of you guys, the past person was somebody who was into trouble. They got into a lot of trouble either with the law or they just. I don't know. Somebody here might be ending their old play ready to end their old player ways here or they're ready to just put it in and stop to some sort of toxic uh behavior i don't know what that's about but show me more about this past energy for the collective what do they need to know about the past energy mm. yeah i told you Round and round, cycles, triggers, lessons. You learned this lesson. This person was wearing a mask with you. They were shady. This person right now is going through some form of uh, financial problems with the bad credit, debt, unemployed. Somebody here is all going through it. Ouch. I feel like, yeah, see, this whoever this person is, they're stressing from the past. They're stressing over you. That's the person that's in denial. So keep that in mind. I feel like you guys are, they feel like you're happily single and that you don't miss them. And they, I'm going to tell you this, this person loves you, but they have a love, hate, like connection with you. I feel like it's all over their ego. This person hates to admit that they still love you. They hate to admit that they still love you and there's a small part of you collective who hates to admit that you still love this person but it's okay to love somebody and not be with them you can love somebody and know that you don't have to necessarily still be with them yeah 
yeah so just know that this past person is going through it i don't know what else to say but just hang in there you guys i love y'all hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you need a personal reading that information is below in the description box okay i'll see you later bye